Um, hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Roche. I am working with the um, Lion's Den Ordering Group um, and I was um, thinking about the problem a little bit and um, what I did was um, I kind of, uh, I wanted to make um, the ordering um, uh, part be like a kind of a separate little program that could take in orders and display them and, and things like that. And um, what, what I have right now is if you run it, I have something that sort of generates an order. It's doing it like every couple of seconds right now, but what it does is it changes the, um, the um, color of the order when it gets too old. It's checking like the original time it came in and it's, um, it's, it's uh, coloring them appropriately. And what I want to have happen is like I had this sort of set for t minutes and time and stuff like that. And you can see like the orders are, are keeping coming and we're not getting rid of them. And what has to happen is when you get an order done, you click it and it should get off the queue and then, um, you know, get like an update. That's sort of what's going on. But part one is just generating the orders. And so what we have is we have an order number. Uh, we have the person who ordered it. This is their um, their order, which is like French fries. And this is like a kind of a timestamp that comes in. Um, to make the timestamp, um, let me see, let's go into order here, uh, using something called, uh, like a date, there's a date class that will let you do this. Okay. And what you can do with the date class is, um, you can, um, you can, um, you can get like a time, like you can get a time for each. And so you can, you can, um, you can compare the time for like the current time. And then, um, and then compare it to the old time and figure out like a difference. And then based on that difference, what I'm doing is I'm saying if, if the thing's like kind of five minutes old, then it's got a color for ex no expedite. And then it's got one for medium expedite. That's the orange one. Um, I think this one's the um, plus. And um, this one here is for um, uh, um, uh, this should actually be like like uh, 20 or something like that, so it turned black. There's, uh, that's wrong. Um, so anyway, if it's like 20 minutes old, it's like super old, right? So it should be like super rushed or whatever. And um, and that's sort of what's going on here. So if I let this run for 20 seconds, like one of them should turn like black and we should get rid of it. But this is sort of what, what um, I'm thinking. And what would happen is every periodic time, it would go look at the Google database of orders and pull that down and um and then it would pop them to like this is what the cook would see and if you look at a mcdonald's or something like that they have something very similar to this um where the orders come in and when they get old they um they kind of like uh age basically and let me see if i can get this guy to turn black if it doesn't we, we can not worry about it but but basically what's going to happen is um this should get old <laughs> Um, it's not getting super old, but um, I don't know. I have some sort of bug in that, but I can fix that. Um, and I can work with um, uh, Ryan to fix that too. So, um, but really the thing that's got to happen is we have to get these guys off the queue. So what happens here is um, when you push the button, the button pushes a, um, I have the, um, the, um, the order runner to be the action listener. So that took a little bit of doing to get the action listener to be the um, the thing that's going to listen to the buttons. So this guy listens to all the buttons, and then um, and I think that's good though because it can it can then deal with the order queue because that's where that's where um, this is where the order queue is. So so I want to have that sort of happen, and um, what I want to do here is um, is when um, when you, know, you click the button. And so what I do is I actually made sort of two action listeners. You can make like the, this thing is an action listener, but you can have sort of two different action listeners running. So I have one to run the queue. And what I imagine this is going to be is um, um, like I have a thing called run order list. And what I want to do there is I want to turn this into like the Google reader. For some reason, the thing just turned off. But um but um, basically what I want to do is I want to make, turn this into like the Google Reader. Right now it's just like automatically making one uh, order. Uh, let's see, this is where this goes. So right now I have, I, I had it kind of randomly making orders and that was cool. But, um, but this is going to be like one order. And then what it does is that for, you know, for one, it makes a new order. It gives it a date stamp right then and there. And so that's going to get like the kind of the green date stamp then. 
and um, and then it figures out the uh, the height of the window so that when it prints the window, the window will be like sized right, basically. And that's going fine. Like the orders seem to come up and things like that. Um, I had a little bit of trouble because I had to use, um, like I use set size a lot in um, Java programs, but here I had to set like preferred sizes um, and things like that. I had to set a layout manager um, to make sure that the, that the things were showing up like in a line. That's what that's doing. Like it's going line down the Y axis and I'm using this thing called box layout. And um, in order, I had to set a lot of um, stuff here. So there, so in, di in addition to size, which is what we normally use and we don't care so bad, um, the um, the Java windows and stuff act like kind of like web windows. So they, they shrink and they make sort of size decisions by themselves. And so if you want to kind of control that, you have to do things like this. So I set a preferred size, I set a max size, I set a minimum size, and I made dimension objects to do it. Um, I could speed things up by making a dimension object above hand, but this is just me sort of doing this right now. So, um, so anyway, so this is what's going on. Um, I think it's sort of working pretty well, but what I want to have happen is that, um, and this is something that Ryan could be working on is, um, when you hit the order up button, boom, um, you figure out what, what order it is and you pull it off this order list. And that would be sort of the next step for this. But but I think this is progress from the order group. And um, and I think that that's kind of cool. Um, I like the way it looks. It looks it looks sort of pro, which is good. And um, and I think it gets the job done. And then we just need a Google hookup. So that's that's kind of what's going on with this. Um, you know, love that the orders turn different colors. That's medium priority, right? So we're going to get that one done. Um, so that's the idea is that you want to have these things go on like that. And that's kind of where it's at. Okay. So, um, talk to you later and, um, you know, like it's cool. I'm glad we're working on this. Bye.